All right. <laughs> Now that we've established some of the learning curve and whatnot, maybe in the next episode, we'll beat two levels. <gasps> maybe even three, if I'm feeling sassy. They take four shots to explode. And then they bring you plane. Okay, well this one's too close to me, so... I don't think I'm going to be using it on any enemies, so I'm just at risk of it being used on me. Mmm, different colored barrels. I'm guessing the other one's fire? Okay, they're just... They're giving me a chance to, like, be aware of these. Four shots seems standard. If they do have any differences between them, they still seem to be blowing up in four shots and then having a green shock wave. So maybe they're just the same thing ultimately. Just they felt feisty with the uh, color combinations. I'm not sure if, if breaking them all serves much of a purpose. is weirdly vacant. Am I in a hub world or something? Or is this a mission? I'm not being attacked. Red door. Different red door. Okay. What do you mean? Shoot. Oh, shoot the target. Okay. It's a freaking bandwidth test. Get a better gun that can put out more qu more frequent damage because mine is too slow. I either need a gun, a better gun with faster output, or I need to upgrade this gun. That seems to be the communication here. Hmm. That's probably ammo for a gun I don't have yet, so that seems to further reinforce that idea. Whereas you require me to get red key? Yes. Okay. So we have a few different gating systems. So I've seen a yellow key door before also. And then there was something in the first area. I think that might have also been a yellow key. Hello. Sorry. Well, hello again. I move pretty fast. I know. I, it just occurred to me that you might be curious about this door. It's actually a training area for Mizar's airborne squadrons. However, I'm afraid it's out of my jurisdiction, so don't expect to get in there unless you have contacts. Other doors require heavy firepower to open. Mizar's security isn't subtle. Okay, before I forget, Vela left this key for you when she passed through. Where was she headed? Hmm. There was some mention of scavenging for supplies on the old SS Anubis. Better get moving, Juno. Can I have the red key? You're now in possession of the red key. Astonishingly, this can be used to open doors with red locks. Thanks for the advice. I'll see you later. Oops, sorry. Juno can't open this door. Somebody else needs to get through that door. This game makes you feel... This game's really good at judging you for your poor trigger discipline when you point guns at other living creatures, which... Fair enough. They really don't like having their gu having guns pointed at them. As far as I can tell, there's no lock-on mechanic, which is surprising, because there's definitely a weird, like, system where you highlight enemies, and it looks like res, where it's like you're highlighting them, and they're, like, being targeted. As far as I can tell, there is no particular lock-on system. I can check the settings. Speaker settings, music volume, sound effects volume. Yeah, control mode. 
It's mostly just a chance to go back through here. There's, there's filter options. I think, I think those are for the games that have less visuals in general. Yeah. Hold start for the menu pane. Psycho weapons is Y. The Halo. Yeah, X and Y are change those. You can also use the D pad. Should probably save. There we go. Oh, it just saves on the spot. Gotcha. So, no save slots. Hope I don't ever need them. What is holding. Ah. Okay. So holding holding it up brings the other menu up directly by holding down start for a bit. Alright. Red key. Let's go. <gasps> I have boxes to hide behind at least. That's something. Shoot his head off. Shoot his ugly shitty head off. Yeah. What's in here? Mm -hmm. Defend the machine gun. Take care with its rapid but inaccurate firepower. I see Juno goes to the Kratos school of opening boxes, which is to savagely attack them. How do I respond to cliffs? I feel like over there is my best chance of making it. But do I even care about this item that much? Fuck it! Oh. He's dead. Oh shit. Shoot his head off. I must be sated. Oh, I think I already have the weapon though. So backtracking was not entirely necessary. But yeah, straight up, like, can I even really do much platforming? My character kind of sucks at that, doesn't he? Oh yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't go anywhere. Nope. I think I need to come back as Lupus if I want those gems. Although so far I don't know if gems are that necessary outside of healing powers. Hello. There's a recognizable stock stand if I've ever heard one. There we go. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Maybe the difficulty curve for some of these enemies will drop out dramatically the moment I have a gun with firepower like this. Although, man, it's gonna run out of ammo quickly. This one's green green. Oh, okay, so green, so I guess a green light is the start of a zone, and a red light is you leaving a zone when you're in a, as far as missions go. Whereas red and green stamps indicate whether or not you're progressing or backtracking. Having two different references to the same two colors definitely obscured things a little bit. I just shot his head off, but his other head was still there. <laughs> I duplicated his head. Oh, hello. Hey, hey little, oh, there, 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 okay. What's this? It's a machine gun. A gun! Uh, did it say accuracy or capacity? I think it said capacity. I think I just straight. Yeah. Oh, I must have picked up a capacity upgrade for this too, because it used to say 200, now it says. Uh, two, uh, sorry, it used to say 100, now it says 200. This one used to say 100, now it says 150, so. Yeah. We're permanently increasing their ammo caps, which is very helpful. As my accurate long-range gun to deal with the snipers. And my spray and prey to deal with these mobs of blue enemies that we need to be vanished. Oh my goodness, this is so... This is such an upgrade. Oh, this is instantly such an upgrade. Okay, this game feels so much more playable now that I have a gun that actually deals with foot soldiers. Ha ha ha. Significant change. All right, I, I'm, I'm having some fun now. <laughs> I was already having some, like, nostalgic fun, but now I'm like, oh, shit. 
I'm switching between two weapons and like a, there's like a reason to switch between the two weapons that makes sense. The guns exist for a reason. I still play games to this day where it's like there's a bunch of guns but I'm not sure why because I could just play the whole game with one gun. Control kind of had that issue. There's like five guns but you're only allowed to actually have two of them at a time and the whole game was designed around being able to play with any gun you felt like as a result. Oh, I can jump way higher than expected. Oh. I feel like you don't expect it from a third person shooter, but hold A makes you jump way higher. This is a little A. This is like kind of pressing A. This is holding A. So maybe I could have got those crystals then. Holy crap. You fly. Things got really quiet. I don't think I've been seen inside here yet. Nope. We're gonna be thorough here. These bears won't save themselves. Even if you take out every single nearby ant, they may not show themselves. There we go. Take them out. Pudding. I'm gonna have heads for days. For days and days. I'm gonna be really feeling it when I run out of ammo. Oh. There's one of them above me. Stop it. Aha! Headshot. There goes his head. There we go. Oh, oh, it's starting to work. Like, the aiming's still a little awkward, obviously, but a lot of stuff's working all of a sudden. Oh my god! Why doesn't this game have a lock-on system? <laughs> it looks like it has a lock-on system. With a little between? Indicator that you're looking at somebody right now. Wow, we are just throwing out the enemy types now. They're like, okay, you got used to that? The two enemies you had, we had you fighting when you only had a pistol? Well, fucking, we're done with that. Uh. Okay. Well, I can't do that. New character, please. Yeah, you definitely can't jump in these. It looks like you can, but you can't. Somebody's shooting at me from over here? No? Definitely felt like shots were coming from over here. Oh, I see you, you little shit. Come on. See if we can play this game. Nah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, great. Now I can use that door. The one that's definitely not accessible. Oh my god, there's a lot of enemies. Oh, I ran out of ammo. This is a problem. This is how I die. Do you have ammo for the good gun? No, you don't. But hey, my my uh, capacity on this gun's increased to 30, 300, so... Woo! <laughs> this is how I die. Oh my god, this is actually how I die. Oh my goodness. I'm down to my last two green health chunks. Just keep strafing, just keep strafing. We're almost, we're almost out of guys. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I definitely need, need a different character to get to that other one. A different character or a different ability, but I'm pretty sure it's a different character. Ah, oh, healing. I have to get used to the fact that gems aren't heals. I mean, aren't currency. They're healing. That's your health for some reason. So when it says five unit Gemini, I think it means it's healing five pips. A brown ant with like a camo vest on? What's your deal? Oopsie, sorry. Trying not, not trying to shoot the bear. Just get out of here before you get shot or something. I almost did it for you. Yeah. 
Yes. I don't trust that ant. He looked like he he looked special forces. He's like a brown and green ant that looked like he was wearing camo. I feel like he was about to do some CIA shit and take out all of my ants. I had to take out all of my bears. I didn't, I didn't like how he those he was the only enemy in the area and he was running away from me. It makes me think that he was running over to like start taking out the other bears. Hmm. I'm still missing a few more bears. They don't seem to be here. They must be forward. Is this gonna be an every bear run? Now that I've understand what the game how the game works, motherfucker! Huh! Oh! Huh! Oh! No! I don't like it! I don't like it! Oh, invincibility, that makes way more sense. Okay. Motherfucker! I didn't like that at all! No 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 no! Die die die! That was so much incoming fire! These flying enemies are a nightmare. Oh my goodness, can you ma- I'm trying to think about how it would be to play against enemies this tough with the old control scheme. There's still one more hiding somewhere. <gasps> Wait, she's just right- she's right there. What? You're being way too sneaky if you want to be saved. Unnecessary, man. That's my superhero- that's my superhero alter ego. <laughs> It is I, unnecessary man. <laughs> you like how look how fake everything is. Look at that tree. You can see like the cybernetics blinking underneath, like it's Terminator or some shit. What is up with this planet? Why is everything a machine? Are the are the bears even bears? What is? The, I need that. I need that Jet Force Gemini lore. Explain. Most accurate weapon. The pistol, with 31% accuracy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that little stumble. It occurs to me I have no idea how long this game is. It shares some visual similarities with Zelda a little bit, but I, I imagine it's massively shorter than that. So colorful. Look at that massive exposed landing pad with like... cargo on it that's just sitting out in space. <laughs> Video games, and that's not where I'm landing. Wait, where am I going? Oh, the other giant hole. I mean, I can imply a force field here more, at least. Or maybe it's open to space and the door closes behind me, and then they let me out. Nope, I just fucking jumped out. All right, Juno's on a mission. Why is- why am I here? What am I doing? I don't know. But Juno seems to know. <laughs> I just fell off this little tiny ledge. But my feet are already touching the ground. Ugh. Okay, so I, I hear- I hear more bears. No, no, that's not more bears, it's the bear. Floppy-eared, weird Yoda creature that teaches me how to play the game. Plasma shotgun. You found the plasma shotgun. Remember to hold down the H, the R trigger for more potent burst. Whenever I, <laughs> whenever I pick up an item, it looks like I put it back. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's oh yeah. Uh, every single sound effect is immediately recognizable in the back of my head. <gasps> More ammo for the- nope. That's the plasma shotgun. Thought that was gonna be for the good gun, but okay. Okay, so let's- let's whip out that gun in case of emergencies. Because I'm in trouble in other situations. Is this yellow key? Yeah, yellow key required. 
And this refills fuel. That is a kazooie pad if I've ever seen one. Oh, and there's a health upgrade. And then, of course, the guy I'm actually here to talk to. Interestingly, you don't press a button to talk to people. You just kind of come near them and they and the dialogue starts whether you want it or not. They just know that it's like, hey, you're, you're going to talk to this guy. It's mandatory. Don't don't play coy with me. Juno, Juno, you're here at last. I'm afraid there's some bad news. I came as quickly as I could when I heard that some of Mizar's heavies had reoccupied the Anubis. Uh, and it seems I was too late to warn Vela. They just hate pears. <laughs> That's textbook servitude for the sake of it. Two people standing guard, three people standing guard, just to make one person scrub the floors. They don't they don't need the slave labor to do the work. Oh my god, a reflection in the Nintendo 64. That's incredible. That's actually some like shiny tech you got there. You did it, Vela. Your accuracy is just as bad as mine is. I guess that's just canon. No one can aim. Everyone's a stormtrooper in this universe, except for snipers. Can we just acknowledge how good this music is? Oh! These are like surprisingly good cutscenes for the Nintendo 64 for that matter. This is one year after Banjo Kazooie, one year before Perfect Dark. There was an era where one company could make a good game every year. And we gave that up for graphics. I'm sad about that. <laughs> That's a bummer. Uh wow, that was neat. But yeah, the, uh, they're definitely just being dicks for the sake of it. All of them standing guard just to make one bear scrub the floors. They're, they're all just kind of hanging out and being dicks for the sake of it. That's what they do. Where'd my ship go? Uh-oh. That's a concern. Juno can't open the door. He's, he, he lives here now. Did I jump past these a minute ago? How did I not get these before? Oh, because I went the long way around. You gotta be careful. They hide upgrades everywhere. Those are permanent upgrades and they're just chilling. Let's do a little save. Just gotta remember to do that periodically because the game, I don't think, saves on its own ever, maybe? And we don't want to walk into one of those rooms with 500 flying things that, that instantly kill me and then find out that I haven't saved for like three hours. <laughs> How do you get around, by the way? Do you just teleport? Is everything okay? I trust you're not forgetting about Vela. By the way, I almost forgot. There's a chest worth investigating on the ledge up there, if you haven't emptied it already. Goodbye. It said goodbye, but it just looked like goo. Because in this font, O's and D's look identical. Man, they liked color. Look how much color. Oh god, I'm standing by an explosive barrel. No, thank you. Okay. Oh, there's a sniper there. Get him. Nope. I'm doing some strafe aiming. I think there's a little bit of a lock on. I think if you square on somebody and maintain that aim, I think the lasers might redirect a little bit to hit them correctly. But it's definitely not like a press this button to snap your aim to an enemy kind of lock on. So you gotta be really careful. I am being shot at. And I'm sure they're not a friend. That's a stupid obser observation. No! Wow, you cleared the area. Good job. 
You killed two of the hostages and accomplished nothing. All right, lesson learned. Do not randomly blow up explosive barrels if you, unless you know what's going to happen. Because you will kill the shit out of the people you're here to save, you fool. Yeah, so explosive barrels, are that was, that was definitely a trap the game laid for me. They put a big enemy that you can just barely see that you would totally think like, Oh, I shoot those explosive barrels, take out that enemy. And then the explosive barrels kill the things you're here to save. And they put that right at the beginning of the zone, probably to help you realize your mistake and want to learn from it. Hello. Goodbye. Oh! That didn't go very well. That was a big aiming kerfuffle on my end of things. Hello. Ow. This dude's dangerous. God damn. Uh, where are the bears? Get out of the bears. There you go, you little shits. You made my life a lot harder. Alright. Can I find some healing? Those people gave me a bad time. There's definitely a lot of ledge grabbing I'm not trying to do, but it's happening. It's gonna happen whether I like it or not. Yep. Hmm. It really feels like I should be able to grab that ledge. But I guess they don't want me to. Not like this. Not like this. Which more or less narrows down my forward direction to this spot. Hello. Uh oh. Oh god, I don't have any ammo. Okay. They're my new priority. These guys are way worse than ants. I'll call them drones. Until I forget that I called them that. There we go. Yeah, that's that's the new death sound. Every time I hear that, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> this is how I die. Look at him run away. Wait, what? Was there, was there two of them? I shot him and he left a corpse behind, but he was still running away. I think there was two of him. That's just trippy. The ants make weird dinosaur sounds. Or at least I think I've, I've heard them use as dinosaur sounds before. Which makes them way weirder. They're also smelly and gross, apparently. And flies... Or are those flies already here? No, no, I think those flies were on their corpse. Just a weirdly distressing way to display death. Is to have these flies over their corpses. As they decay away. I think I've seen the flies over them when they're like in sad mode because they're uh, like need to be they're like waiting to be mercy killed. You've deactivated a cell door. Wow. Sure hope something I want was in it and not like an enemy Wookiee or something. 